Hi everyone, it's an honor to be a part of this event and stand here talking to you guys. Today, I want to get started with something that you and I, we both care about, and it's our lifestyle. In the past few years, so many things have happened that have actually reshaped our lifestyle. And by our lifestyle, I mean Gen Z's lifestyle. Let's take a look at our home country, Vietnam. We've been witnessing a rapid rise in trekking tours, camping, or even water sports on lakes and river. The trend even continued stronger after COVID hit because now everyone wants to avoid crowded areas and enjoy the beautiful sceneries by themselves. Our need for nature is bigger than ever as we've seen breathtaking photos of sites on Instagram, we've watched vlogs on YouTube about how stunning the mountains are, and we have scrolled through countless clips on TikTok about how much fun you can have while kayaking or paddling. But what if I told you that our needs are in danger and cannot be fulfilled. How would you feel? Sad? Annoyed because you can't do what you wanna do? Or even jealous of others because many have been able to experience that? Well, let me tell you a story of mine and then I'll tell you how I feel about this particular situation. In 2019, my family went for a hike at Pivai Mountain. The mountain is divided into two parts, from the bottom to the middle has rock stairs, and the upper half only has trails. My family wanted to get to the top, so we decided to continue with the trails. So, periodically, there's a direction that you need to follow in order to go on the right path. You need to look at the arrows on the rocks or even the ropes that are tied on the branches. At one point, we got quite confused by the directions and my mom asked me whether we were going on the right path. I stood there for a few seconds to look around and then I literally said, oh, hey, mom, look, there's a lot of trash along the way. It must be right. It was supposed to be a joke for a moment, but then I realized that it is all the trash that is setting a big barrier between me and nature. Originally, natural areas are just so clean that we just want to take a seat anywhere. But now, trash is so common that we just unconsciously consider it as a normal thing and we'll just sit with it. However, we feel uncomfortable. We feel uncomfortable because sitting on trash is never the same as sitting on grass. And I feel hurt. I feel hurt because of the amount of trash that we are putting out to the environment. I feel hurt because natural scenery can never be the same as they used to be. And I feel hurt because we, Generation Z, might never be able to know the beauty of nature. Well, I've made my decision. Rather than sitting around trash, I've decided to sit on trash. The chair that I'm sitting on is made from recycled milk cartons. And just from milk cartons, there are no extra components to it, no wood, no steel. It doesn't even have nails or glue on it. Not only that, every day I go to school with a pen decorated with Recycle plastic. Well, the question is, why do I love trash and recycled products this much? Well, I love products that are made from trash because of the stories behind them. Just like an artist standing in front of a blank wall, he or she needs to brainstorm all the ideas to draw and then decide this color is need to be put up there. Each artwork has a unique story behind it, and so do recycled products. I look at them as a masterpiece because of their impact and the effort that's put into them. Collecting trash is obviously the first stage of the process. It is fair to say that trash is now an infinite resource and this process helps both overloaded landfills and the environment. Then all the collected trash needs to be cleaned before entering the actual recycling process. And here comes the scientific part. Depending on which type of product that you want to make, you need to choose or to make up your own recycling method that cannot emit toxic air pollutants or harm the environment. After all that is turning the raw result that you have from the recycling process into an actual and usable product. And this is the hidden nine tenths. This is the part that many people, including myself, do not know about recycling. I used to think that recycling was just something very easy. You just need to put different things together and you're good to go but I was deeply wrong. 
Recycling is something that requires a tremendous amount of research, time, and effort. We started off with a board of recycled material that's made from milk cans to make a table. And it had so many issues with it. The surface was rough, the joints were loose, and the structure was not sturdy enough. The next time, we tried another design. And this time, we felt even bigger. Even though it had somewhat a stylish look to it, the material was just too soft that it made the free legs could not load anything. After those trials, we started to understand the material and even though the table is still in development, we've been able to create this chair, the chair that I've been talking about. It's made from recycled milk cans, it's very well engaged, and it works just like a normal chair. But our journey doesn't stop at maximizing the potential of available materials as we want to create our very own recycling method. And now, things are about to get hard. This is my result. After spending nearly a day trying to recycle medical masks, it didn't work out like what we expected, but we'll continue on developing it. This pen, however, is somewhat a temporary success. Does it look beautiful? Yeah, I would like to say so. Uh, it has somewhat an interesting and mysterious look to it. Does it contain trash? Yes, yes it does. It's actually made from a toilet cleaner bottle. But the question is, is it sustainable? The answer is no. It is not sustainable at all because it's only single use and we're still trying to find a way to make it reusable. You see, recycling is not a simple task at all. Recycling to make a good looking and usable product is a combination of arts and science. Not only does it require us to go through the product development process, but it also demands recyclers to satisfy all the sustainability criteria. I, as a teenager and a part of Generation Z, believe that we all should look at recycled products with respect and appreciation because the beauty of recycled products saves the beauty of nature. The world does not need many advanced recyclers. The world needs everyone to love and to start recycling. Thank you.